Hello friends and welcome back. The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan has recently implemented new measures that prioritize the revitalization of crucial roads throughout the country. At a recent Economic Commission meeting, there were extensive discussions on economic strategies and the strengthening of transportation infrastructure. These initiatives, led by Mullah Baradar, the Economic Deputy Prime Minister, resulted in significant decisions, including the approval of construction projects such as the second Kabul Jalalabad Road and the Surubi Road to Jabalusaraj. During the meeting, the Islamic Emirate discussed the construction project of the second Kabul Jalalabad Road and proposed tolls as a form of compensation. They also deliberated on the procedures for purchasing surplus edible wheat and the construction of the electric gate complex in eastern Kabul. Mullah Baradar, as the chairperson, emphasized the comprehensive discussions that took place, leading to the decision-making process. In terms of the construction project for the second Kabul Jalalabad Road, it was decided that the Ministry of Public Works would oversee the project's announcement through an open bidding process. The selection of construction companies would be based on strict criteria for road construction. According to the press release, the Ministry has also been instructed to follow the established procedures for the Salang Highway, which includes acquiring the right-of-way for this project. Discussions also focused on the procedures for managing surplus wheat, as outlined by the Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock. After a thorough examination by the Technical Committee of the Economic Commission, the proposed procedures were approved and forwarded to the High Authority of the Islamic Emirate for final approval. These procedures aim to support farmers by purchasing wheat at fair prices during harvest seasons, thereby stabilizing market prices and preventing hoarding. The progress of constructing the second Kabul Jalalabad Road has encountered obstacles in the past, primarily due to security concerns in certain districts of Nangaha province. Despite initial efforts that began in 2010 with financial support from the Asian Development Bank, the project remains unfinished. A joint Chinese-Afghan company was awarded the $110 million contract for its construction. This road spans approximately 150 kilometers and is expected to greatly improve economic growth and transportation infrastructure. Another great project, the Surubi to Jabalusaraj Road, which stretches 105 kilometers, was also planned for construction with assistance from the Asian Development Bank, but did not complete in the past. These projects have the potential to greatly facilitate trade and transportation, contributing to Afghanistan's economic development. The Afghan citizens has expressed concerns about road construction projects carried out by Afghan institutions and companies. They point out inadequate monitoring, which leads to frequent road deterioration and inefficiencies in project management. However, the construction of the second Kabul Jalalabad Road and the Surubi to Jabalusaraj Road are seen as crucial steps towards Afghanistan's economic progress. These projects will feature modern transportation structures and are expected to streamline trade and transit processes, promoting economic growth and commercial activities. The second, Kabul Jalalabad Road, with its 18 large bridges and 280 culverts, serves as a vital communication route connecting economically significant regions. The second Kabul Jalalabad Road construction project has received approval from the Economic Commission under the guidance of Mullah Baradar, the Economic Deputy Prime Minister. As part of the project, transit rights will be granted as compensation. The Ministry of Public Works has been tasked with advertising the project through an open bidding process and selecting a qualified company to carry out the road construction. In addition, the Ministry has been instructed to follow the established procedure 
for the Salang Highway, which includes acquiring the necessary right-of-way for this project. During the meeting, the proposal to establish an electronic toll collection system in the eastern region of Kabul province was also given the green light. The plan involves attracting private sector investment through a public-private partnership over a period of 10 years. In the first two years, the private sector will retain 51% of the revenue, while from the third to the tenth year, 90% of the revenue will be deposited into the state treasury. Additionally, the Surubi to Jabalusaraj Road, constructed using innovative concreting techniques, promises operational durability for at least two decades. Its completion will improve connectivity between northern and eastern Afghanistan, facilitating trade and regional integration. Afghanistan citizens eagerly await the strengthened government supervision and responsibility in carrying out these initiatives. They perceive these projects as crucial for fostering sustainable economic growth and urge the authorities to guarantee transparency and effectiveness in their implementation. The people of Afghanistan see these construction projects as pathways to prosperity and progress. They have a positive outlook on the successful completion of these initiatives and eagerly anticipate a brighter future for the beloved nation of Afghanistan. We sincerely thank you for your attention to this important matter and see you in the next video.